There is a set of expectations about a First Lady. I violated them from the very beginning. She brought to the forefront women's roles in society. This is radical feminism. So this is such an incredible documentary and you got an amazing access. Like the photos alone are incredible. Yeah. Um, how did you go about negotiating all of that and figuring out, like getting in the door? <laughs> Uh, well, what happened was there was an interest in using all of this behind-the-scenes campaign footage of 2016. So once they agreed to work with me in some capacity to come up with an idea of what this should be, uh, that's kind of opened the door. So I came back and said, I really want to do a whole biography on Secretary Clinton. I want to do her whole life story and interweave the 16 campaign and bring up these important themes. And I wrote out what it was and everyone was on board. So she, you know, I think she's at a point in her life where she's not in office anymore for the first time in probably 40 years. She's not even the first lady of Arkansas. So she was willing to just let someone do this and, and, and let someone tell her story. It was a great opportunity to, to tell this amazing breadth and scope to a, a polarizing historical figure and really put it in a, as you said, like in, in a very more intimate way because you could see the details. Like she was this firecracker. She mm -hmm. did in some ways, you know, have to decide between love and her career at one point. Like, you know, just universal things that we all deal with and, and really feeling that in an intimate, personal way, I think makes the difference of this show. I thought it was so interesting the way you decided to interweave sort of her life and the campaign. What were the challenges of doing that? One of the advantages of doing it is that the past and present are constantly influencing each other. And so what you think is happening in the present, then you can then show the past uh, and, and, and see a whole different side. So that was an advantage. It is, though, on just a filmmaking structural level, a complicated thing to do, to go from past and present in a way that feels seamless and organic and doesn't disrupt the viewer's experience at all. I took a class and I saw Hillary sitting there. And he was watching me. And she closed her law book. I said, if you're gonna keep looking at me and I'm gonna keep looking back, we ought to know each other's names. I'm Hillary Rodham, who are you? She was different than anybody I ever met. I said, I really wanna marry you, but you shouldn't marry me. How did you address sort of like sensitive topics with Secretary Clinton? Well, you know, I, I did talk to her off the bat, I said like, look, this is the show I want to tell. I even wrote it out of how it would unfold. And I said, it's really important that we tell the story of your marriage. And she said, okay. And I said, the whole, the whole thing. And she said, okay. Um, so she was on board. But it is still like once you have to do that, that's hard. It's hard to, you know, and, and so we would do interviews and, and obviously, you know, I think she, and sometimes would want to be like, let's talk about that tomorrow. Because <laughs> it's hard emotionally to do. And she did do it, but it was, it, it is uh, emotionally tricky to share that part of your life with a camera. Human rights are women's rights, and women's rights are human rights. People would run up clutching copies of that speech, reciting that line from it. You spend a lot of time with her. I imagine that you can probably vouch for the fact that what you see is what you get. <laughs> it's true. And she said that was actually like the first line of my mm -hmm. film because it is true. What you see is what you get. And and so there's been all of this stuff put upon her because she has been a, a lightning rod because she's always been pushing the boundaries of things. So people think all kinds of, you know, they both idolize her and they villainize her. And neither of that is true. There's a very real person in the middle of that who is very warm and three-dimensional with incredible attributes and flaws and all of it, just like all of us. She's, but she's very warm and accessible, and, and but people don't think that. The other problem is, is when you're in politics, uh, you have to be careful what you say. And you s actually see in the documentary series how she has had to deal with that and how she at you know in first steps in the in when she was in the national spotlight she had some missteps of just saying what she thought and it was taken out of context and she learned like oh i gotta be really careful i have to second guess every word i say i think when you're a woman and you're pushing the envelope then you 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 get uh you get criticized in a whole different light you know, you do get put under the spotlight in a way that men don't always do. And I don't want to blame everything on gender, of course, but 
it's unfortunately it does happen to a, a bigger degree. How long do you think, like, quote unquote, Hillary will like echo into politics? It is complicated because she represents a lot of things to different people, and right now the current emphasis is just for the Democrats is is let's elect another Democrat and get Trump out of office. People are mm-hmm. very very afraid of him being in power. Obviously, he's being impeached right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there is both uh, nostalgia for Hillary, but there's also like, can you just go away? Like, don't ruin this, you know? So there's there's complicated feelings for her, polarizing feelings, like there always are. And I knew with the documentary coming out now that that could come up either way, both good and bad, but, you know, that's always going to be the case with her. That's sort of the point of the whole show. As long as she has been in public light, there have been these ups and downs. You know, be our champion, go away. You want to make a difference, you want to have an impact. Well then, you got to get in the arena.